Welcome to the Print Rudder instructional video detailing how to create a new document using Adobe Photoshop CS4. We encourage you to use this method as much as possible to ensure that your order meets our file check requirements and prevents any delays in the production process. Starting off with Photoshop Active, go to the File menu and choose New. In the new document prompt, type in a name for the file. If you have a preset for the size, you can choose it here. If not, you will need to set your finished document size. By finish, we mean the final flat or unfolded size after cutting plus the bleed. Unlike InDesign and Illustrator, you need to actually add the bleed into the document size. You can simply enter the width and height into the fields if the unit of measurement is defaulted to pixels or some other non-standard measurement system, click the drop-down and choose inches or whichever you prefer. For this particular case, we are making an 8.5 by 11 vertical flyer. However, the Photoshop size will be 8 and 3 quarters by 11 and a quarter. In the resolution field, enter 300 pixels per inch also referred to as DPI. It is not necessary to go any higher and it is definitely not advisable to go any lower unless you are creating a banner. Banners should be done at 150 DPI to actual size. Choose CMYK for the color mode. Keep the processing at 8-bit. For the background color it can be left at white However, it's really your personal preference. If the advanced section is collapsed, expand it and choose Don't Color Manage for the color profile as our RIP software removes the color profiles. Keep Pixel Aspect Ratio at Square Pixels. Before you are finished, you can click the Save Preset button, which will pre-populate the New Document Preset box with all the settings you just made. You can rename the preset or uncheck any boxes to your preference. Click OK and then OK again to open your new document. In the new blank document, it is advisable to go to the view menu and show the rulers. Pull guidelines out from the ruler to make one set of guides at 1 8 inch in for the cut. And then another set of guidelines at 1 quarter inch in for the safety margin line. You are then ready to design your layout. Thanks for watching this clip. I hope it was very informative. If you have any other questions or issues, you can visit the Print Runner website to view more of our help topics. Thank you.